something came to my mind and let me do it. This may seem very basic, but maybe not so basic. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37. If you have a Bible, bring it out. If you have your phone, please go to Bible Gateway or some other app or whatever to access Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37. I think it is good to actually go there and see it for yourself. I think so much of the time we may take a person's word for they may be telling the truth, but I think it is good to actually see it for yourself. There is someone I teach and I have that person read it. Like, this is not me saying it, but you are reading it. And I ask that person, what do you believe that passage or that verse is saying, basically? So that person can see that it is not me trying to control that person or make up my own rules and stuff like that. Okay, Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37. And also, I think it is best, I think, to be led by a man or woman of God, right? Because if that person is serving God, why not be led by them until they mature to where they can follow God, I guess I can say, on their own. Because I believe people need help. What do you believe a pastor is for? Pretty much, the pastor should be pushing you toward God while teaching you. Okay. But I say unto you, swear not at all. Neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, 35, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, 36, neither shalt thou, thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black 37 but let your communication be yea yea nay nay for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil so basically this is telling you not to swear and i looked up the word oath because i believe swearing in this context i believe it is referring to making oaths. So let's look up the word oath. A solemn promise often invoking a divine witness regarding one's future action or behavior. So what is this saying then? For me, I don't make promises. I don't say, how can I say it in a better way? I don't say, I promise I'm going to do this. I promise I am going to do that. Or I swear on my mother's head, which is very strange to say that that I did not do that. Or I swear on the Bible that I will tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. No, don't swear at all. Don't promise anyone anything. If you are going to do it, simply say, I am going to do it. If you aren't going to do it, say, I am not going to do it. If someone accused you 
accuses you of something, say, I did not do that, not, I swear I did not do that. Don't swear, don't promise. Yes, let me get to this. I think in America, in the United States of America, I think it is so popular to say vows when you are getting married. Like, and I think vows are taken so lightly. Uh. I think some people may see like making vows in marriage or at the wedding, I probably should say, is so cute and so breathtaking. But when you make a vow, I believe God is holding you to it. If you say to your wife, wife, I will never yell at you. I will leave you a piece of candy on your pillow every night. What if you choose to not do it for a week or so? Look now. This is telling us to not make any promises. To not make any vows. Yes, I believe this is saying to not make any vows. If you are going to say, if you are going to do something, simply say you are going to do it. You don't have to say, I promise, I swear. I am going to do it. I swear I did not do it. I promise I won't cheat on you. Just say yes or no. I believe that is what this scripture is trying to say. Stop making vows. Stop making oaths. Stop making promises. You know, you may not have heard of this. You may be a person who promised so many things, but rarely, probably, keep your promises. Stop promising. For myself, I like to keep my word. I honestly, 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 I am not going to say, I swear I like to keep my word. No, I'd like to keep my word. So I will rarely say that I am going to do something that I am not really sure about. Now, there are sometimes things may happen and I may not keep my word, but I don't like to make a practice of it. Like, if a person, let me get into this. For me, if a person consistently, more than one time, more than two times, but consistently, and depending what it is as well, can't keep their word like <laughs> I am rarely going to trust that person even if that person is telling the truth I am going to rarely trust that person so if you go to court hey judge lawyer whatever I can't swear I can't make a vow I can't swear on the Bible because in Matthew chapter 5, it is telling me not to do it. I believe there are people who swear on the Bible and still lie. So why even swear on the Bible in the first place? If you are getting married at the wedding, don't make any vows. Because can you really keep, depending on what your vows are, can you really keep them? If you can't, don't say them. Don't say them. And even if you can keep them, don't say it. Just say, yes, I will do this for you. You don't have to swear or promise. No vow 
vow, vow, am I saying that right? Vow making. No oaths, none of that. Does this make any sense? And if you think I am lying, please go to Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37. Please go there. And, okay, let me stop here. God bless you.